Hi everybody, first video. This is Amy with The Paper Life and we're here at Crafters Workshop and I have found someone who I absolutely love to watch. She does a lot of um, videos on Prima and stuff and she's got her own website and it's Julie Fifan Bowser. That's right, Julie Fifan Bowser. Fifan, sorry. I, mess, I knew I it's messed that up, Julie. Name. It's Chinese. Nobody knows what it is. But you paper lifers know I'm kind of getting into the art journaling and she is somebody, one of my go-to people with that and she's got a product here that I think might be kind of cool. So Julie, take it away for them. Well, I'm here at the Crafters Workshop booth and they make these amazing stencils. And one of the things that I love about stencils is they allow you to safely <laughs> use your creativity. You know, they give you a kind of guideline for creating, which is fantastic. And what I've been demoing today in the booth is how to use these wonderful stencils with watercolor crayons. And you can obviously uh -huh. spray through them or do whatever. I've simply been scrubbing some color in and then you just grab some water and go. Right. But, and again, oops, I just smeared it all over. But that's okay in art journaling, in art journaling right? everything works. Because I'm trying cool. to get the paper lifers into this, and, and they, you know, you know, they need, sometimes those mistakes are mistakes what makes are creative the whole journal. They're creative they make, opportunities. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. Yes, yes, And yes. Julie, since we have you here, yeah. I want you to also talk to the paper lifers. Some of them don't know about, you know, oh, the watercolor, watercolor crayons. crayons. We still think of, you know, the little palette that you got yes. in grade school. Yes, and yes, yes. These are cool. Talk these about it. These are very it. cool. So I travel with my art journal and stuff all the time. So watercolor crayons, literally what they are is they go on exactly like crayons and you can see I'm just gonna put it in the stencil so I get these nice circles uh -huh. and maybe I'll put a second color in here but the second that I take a paintbrush and this is what's so cool full of water they become watercolor and they look become how those Monet. colors just blend <laughs> and suddenly right I've got this fabulous little artistic circles that I made with this stencil and I can make them even bolder or do whatever I want but the stencils are a basis for beginning it all well so and easy, these easy. things from from um, crafters workshop yes. these the and I'll tour My everybody gosh, all of them there's so tons. many designs I mean these are amazing for they're backgrounds amazing. you guys because you spray through them yes, you, you can, can do your put your mist, inking through your them use your blending tool from Tim Holtz you can do all all sorts of amazing, amazing. Yeah. So let's let's see let's a few. A what, what are some what are some that they've got? Because the paper lifers, I'm trying to get them into this. So look at like all these circular ones. These are oh, so fabulous. Cool if you want to talk about like design principles and doing all sorts of exciting stuff, these add so much interest. Uh -huh. They have all these basic stencils for huge shapes. Yes. And of course the lettering stencils for people who don't feel comfortable with their handwriting or you want a little more of a hand done touch. Ooh, that's a really cool font. Yeah. Nice and flowy. I love them because it's a mixture of handwritten and not. They've got all of these fantastic. I mean, look how choices. gorgeous of a background right. is that for to an do art journal. Elements and remember, you can use part of a stencil. You don't have to use the whole thing. Mm -hmm. so you can just use one leaf and build a flower or something exciting like that. Well, and that's good to talk to them about too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I know when you're a beginner, you do just kind of think, well, I have to take the whole stencil, lay it down, and spray no. it, and that's it. Stencils but are adding and, and customizable, and you can use them in any way you want. So, for example, see how this one is all—it's a squares of yes. circles. You can make it hexagons simply by lifting and turning it every single time. That's exactly. that versatility for you. Exactly. And I mean, look at some of these. These like beautiful doily gorgeous, look. aren't they? And think about this too. To make embellishments for your art journal, all you do is you trace around it, cut it out. Exactly. Super simple and fast. Because you do. You've got the smaller version and the larger version. Exactly. That's nice. That's very nice. Art journaling is all about embracing imperfection. So one of the yes, things that is. I love <laughs> is that you start with a stencil and then you use your creativity on top of it. Exactly. Really cool. Well, yeah, I want to go down here because okay. I see some banners and yeah. um, stuff like that oh, and this is all a this. Really quick painting that I yeah, made. here's a great example. Super Julie fast. did this. And this could be tree stencils and a gorgeous. That's just all done with mist. And that would be an awesome yeah. art journal background. Super or easy. even if we can get them on next to the next level a scrapbooking background yes yes absolutely this flower garden one I know is very very popular oh, I love, that. I love that and again you can cut the flowers individually you can color them individually I also really like to take a cat's eye ink pad and directly just go over the stencil and it shows up magnificently look at those butterflies mm -hmm. look how cool these circles are with the stars inside that kind of double masked look and Very I love cool. just even that burst of star. Yeah. You guys, these are really cool for backgrounds. This is one I'm of excited. my all-time favorite stencils. When I got it, I didn't think it would be anything, but honestly, the star burst. Yeah. wow. I put it on everything. It just pops right off at you. 
Oh, Julie, this I want to go home now. I know, so I don't can, you, you want to my stencils and, and go? this? Who Donna Downey? I saw yes, her use this the other day. Her if her you Wednesday watch her inspiration. Wednesday and straight inspiration mm -hmm. book, that is the background she used for that. It is. And then she turned it into like a brick wall yes. and did graffiti. And the girls on the Shimmers team, I saw do a whole thing with how to get realistic bricks using inks and that stencil. Really? Yes. Really. Really. Absolutely. So you can see that video on there. So you can kind too. of. I mean, don't you? Mm -hmm. I feel like when I do my art journals with things like this, you can yeah. actually feel like you're an artist. Absolutely. Well, everybody is an artist. You just have to let it out. So these are all the new stencils this season right now. And that is the, the tree That's you were the talking tree. about. That's fabulous. Uh, I just love it. Oh, and even this is so different, Julie, with the, 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 with the uh, dragonflies. Dragonflies, yes. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Look, here's where I use the butterfly stencil I showed you before and the uh -huh. circle stencil, but on top of dress patterns. That's How an easy cool. thing to do. Cool. And stencils, too, you know, they allow you to bridge the gap the same way that rub ons do over many surfaces and many things. Exactly. Exactly. And Which even really talk cool. about, you know, there's different mediums where you could fill these with a texture, mm -hmm. like yeah. with a fiber paste, yeah. and have it dry. See, this, these are journaling spaces, right? But think about using this in a repeating way as a pattern on the back of a page and instead designing, of it. Yeah. And designing your own paper. I love designing my paper. I do it all the time now. I can't stop. And the clocks. Oh, I got to get so, the clocks. Those are cool. Very okay, cool. you guys. So this, these are Crafters Workshops and their new templates. And I'm here with Julie. I'll get Julie in again. And um, again, Julie, what's your blog so they know? Oh, my blog is balzerdesigns.typepad.com. And come and visit. Yes, Julie gives lots of um, ideas and stuff on, yep. on our artsy-fartsy well, stuff. art journaling every day, every I, Friday. Okay, we will be over there. Thanks, Good. everybody.